Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. Um, not so much beauty should I use that word today, I really don't think. <laughs> I had a nasty virus um, and it came out like a cold sore in my mouth. It's still there to a bit, that's why I keep trying to keep my distance from you guys a bit. It was really bad at the beginning of the week, awful, but I went to the doctors and he gave me some, some cream for it. Um, it just could be a bit run down or, um, you know, how the cold affects you. I haven't had it before once, about 10 years ago, um, but it's not very nice. I don't know if you've ever had any cold sores, anybody, but they're not very nice. They don't look very nice and I really didn't want to come on the camera and sort of frighten you guys. Um, but I've come on today, um, I've disguised it as best I can, I can't very much, but I'll keep my distance, obviously, <laughs> I won't do any tutorials today, um, I hope you don't mind, because I didn't want to not come on again, um, you know, I, I like to film for you guys, and I like to keep regular, so I hope that's alright, but anyway, what today's video is going to be about, or is about, is um, the products of the month. And this month I've chosen mascara. Um, I've chosen four drugstore high street mascaras, um, complete budget ranges, a couple I had, a couple I've bought for the video. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't put any of them in my mum list. <laughs> but these are the four I bought. This is how they. Um, it turned out, and um, I'll show you anyway. Yeah, I wanted to show you is I Heart Extreme, which is the I Love Extreme by Essence. Now I do really like this mascara. I do like it. Um, it's got quite a full straight. Um, that's bristle. Whether it's natural bristles or not, I don't know. But it's not rubber. It's definitely bristles. Um, it's not too big and, you know, uncomfortable to use. But it can clump. You've got to be really, really careful. Um, I probably put my mascara on exactly the same as you guys. Put it on and I wriggle a bit at the base and pull. Um, but if you wriggle, it kind of sticks them together a little bit. So I'd say it was a good mascara. Um, surprisingly, it doesn't dry up that quick. Um, but you really need to use another spoolie after you've used it or one of the little combs, you know when you can get the eyebrow uh, brush and comb, just a little comb to go through it. Other than that, it's, which is a bit of a pain, sort of an added thing to have to do, but other than that it's not bad. So I'll show you what this one looks like on. Next, guys, I've got the Bourgeois Clubbing Mascara. Now, I could have clubbed this in the week. It's a bristle brush again. It's slightly more tapered down towards the end. Now, it's not a big brush, is it? By any means, I've got far bigger brushes than that. But this mascara always ends up on my lids. I don't know why it does it. Um, in my tutorial last week where I did the peachy look, I used this mascara, if you remember, guys. And it was all smudged all over my eyelids. Um, I don't know why, because normally I can look at the brush and think, oh, that's massive, that's going to hit my eyelids. But this does. And I don't know why, and I'm so careful, and I think, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's not smudged this time. And sure enough, as soon as I look at myself in the mirror, it's smudged. Um, 
It doesn't look bad when it's on. I mean, it looks okay. I quite like the look of it on. It's a little bit clumpy, but I don't mind a little bit of a clumpy look. But, um, no, I don't like it all over my eyelids. I'll show you what I mean. NYC and this is City Proof. I don't think it's waterproof, I just think it's called City Proof because I really, it, it, waterproof mascara really irritates me. Um, look at the brush on this one now. Now, see, I prefer that sort of brush. It's tapered out of all the four mascaras I showed you. This is the sort of brush I rather have because I find with this sort of brush you can get right under the lash, you know, almost to your, well, to your tight line, and then wiggle and pull it up, and it just fits nicely and it comes through the lashes nicely. That's also not a rubber brush, that's a bristle brush. But it comes up nicely through the lashes and pulls them up. It probably hasn't got the welly of the others. Um, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. Because you can put three or four coats of this on. And it still doesn't look that really clumpy. Um, it doesn't give you them great big lashes that I like. Um, I do like that. You, you know I do, guys. I mean, um, I can go without red lipstick or anything like that. I don't mind any, taking any other bright stuff away. But I like great big lashes. And on the understanding, I'm such a doozy at putting on eyelashes. Um, I really like to have a nice mascara. This is not bad every day. I put it around the house every day, you know. But you need about four coats. I'll show you what it looks like. Right guys, this is my last one. This is number seven's Flirty Eyes. Now, I've, told, I've said to you before I like number seven's mascaras and I've had a few, but I've always liked this one. It's one of the ones that's been out the longest really, but I like this mascara. Um, it's quite a dry mascara. I don't get you to hear it. It's quite dry. The only thing is, it's got that hourglass brush. Now I've managed to conquer that and I, I can sort of get it now to and I know what it's all about. It does give you quite a fanned look because it pulls the middle but that bit, the big bit at the end is pulling up the inside and that is pulling up the outer lashes if you can see. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I've got used to it now. When I first saw it, I didn't like it. It's not like that number seven one I had before, you know, the blooming... I mean, Tornade bullet on the end of the blooming brush, but um, this one's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, and the mascara is nice and it stays. And it's what I've got on now. Don't want to show you my horrible mouth, but I'll show you in the video. I made a little video of that one as well. So let's have a look at that one.
flavours do you think? I would say that came in fourth, that came in third, that came in second, and that was the best one. But I wouldn't rush out. I don't think any of them are actually yabba dabba doo doo, really. Um, but out of all, of all of them, I think that one's the best. If you like me to review mascaras, I can always do another four for you. Pick other ones that, you know, Rimmel, Maybelline, anything like that. Um, I don't know, it's the different products of the month. But if you'd like to see more mascaras, I can always do that for you. Um, I can always click them up and my daughters will have my, what I don't use, I can tell you. It's <laughs> a good thing about having daughters. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't about on Tuesday and I wasn't on the camera on Tuesday, but you can understand why. I mean, this looks awful now, but Tuesday it was it was like a bleacher beacon going on. Um, so I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry I'm a bit away from the camera today. Um, but I didn't want to not come on. I hope it's all right, guys. I don't want to come on looking nasty, you know, but... Um, I did want to come on and see you, so I hope that's all right, guys. Let's hope I'm a little bit better by next Tuesday, uh, <laughs> or something else might have fallen off. <laughs> okay, guys, you have a lovely weekend. I'll see you Tuesday. Take care, as always. I hope you're with the people that you love. Take care now. Take care, guys. Bye.